right, welcome to this beginning of this video. Subscribers, YouTubers, channel clickers, followers, all that good stuff. Thank y'all so much for all the support. I think we're up to how many subscribers? Uh, almost almost 1,600. So, you know, we just started a couple months ago. So I think that's pretty good. We appreciate it. All right, today we're going to talk about this machine right here behind us. You notice that the headlights are out. Gone. Love it. Gone. They got tore out by these System 3. 370 tires, which by the way are great. We love the tires. The kid, the uh, Tate and Chase love the tires. This, by the way, is one of my sons here. You've seen him on our videos. This is Tate. He's one of the identical twins that drive this gentle machine. Um, but anyway, so what happened is these tires come up and hit the fender here tear this fender out as well when they rub and also broke the headlights yeah it must have fallen out we had the aftermarket headlights that had the red rings in them broke the brackets on them so yeah it broke the clips these headlights are in there right here and it broke these clips just one here. it's just one one on both but it broke both headlights so what happened is these are not factory shocks these are zebros uh exit shocks which are good shocks but with these bigger tires, these heavier weight tires, these are 30 inch System 3 370s. They used to run 30 inch carnivores on them, but the carnivore tire was more rounded. This tire and it was flat. less weight. Yeah, and plus it's a little less weight. But these got bigger sidewall lugs, a lot bigger sidewall sidewall lugs. Plus it's a little flatter tire. So needless to say, when this tire fully compresses, it comes up. It does hit this fender and it pulls this out and it and it broke those clips. So we're gonna have to get new lights we already right got there. them they've already got them ordered yeah but in the meantime we got to solve the problem so i called uh exit zebros and they sent us a, a heavier lower spring this one only here now the 275 we're going back with 300 hey chase you know these are the black insides right we're going back with these fancy 300s. I hooked this up with some 300s. Right there, you can see 300. That tells you how many poundage it is. So what we're taking off is 275s. They said these 300s should still give us a good ride quality, give them a good ride quality, but keep that tire from compressing all the way up into the fender and busting these lights out again. So we're going to be pulling them two shocks off, taking them apart, and replacing the lower springs. We'll break out the shock, the shock uh, compressor tool, and we'll get going. All right, Tate. Basically what I'm doing is these bolts right here, we have put different um, nuts on them. So that means they're a different size. They're 17 now. I don't remember what the original ones are. Now these are 17. They're 15s? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But the- After you take them off, put them on so many times, you gotta change it out. So we ordered the new hot cut to put on there. Yeah. But the fronts are still normal. These are 15s, see, 15s. If you're taking them off yourself, the factory bolt nut, I think it's 15. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 15. You're going to take the bottom off, you're going to take the top one off, and you're going to pull that shock out. Yep, that's pretty much all I'm going to do. And then we're going to put it on our little shock compressor machine that's sitting over there yep. so and compress it. Tool. Yeah, fancy tool later. And then just press it down and be all done. Brake cleaner. Is this thing still recording? All right, we'll take this down. Okay, so basically what happens is all you do is pull that down. If it sticks, you can take a hammer and hit it. Yeah. Nice. You, and you got a little... There's a little like, ring in here. You take a little, little pick. Right off. There you go. And that comes out. And this comes off. Don't lose those. And then all you do is take this loose. Right tidy. Lefty loosey. It comes up. There's your spring. Take the old spring off. Don't drop the shock on down. I got it. Right there, it's oh.
All right. Now you got to caulk these. So the tender springs right there. So you put the other one all the way around at 180 degrees. That's how you caulk them. Put that back on there, but you put it here. Go down one so that you're not hitting your bumper. Wait a minute. Oh, you got a sideways. There you go. There you go. Are you ready? I ain't gonna work sideways. No, you need to be. There you go, right there. You ready? Yep. That don't be enough, hasn't it? Yeah, that's definitely enough. Okay. We're going. All right. What's your thing? Cat back on. Snap ring back on. Snap ring. On. There you go. All right, I'll do this if you'll work that. Hold that on there. Quick. You just got to make sure the spring doesn't hit the uh, there you go. shock. There you go. There it is now. It's this compressor tool right here, we got off of Amazon. It's the same model. Well, it's similar to the same one that shock therapy uses. It's an Amazon have, brand. They just have a different here. Um, but uh, Chase can put a link to it in the description down below. It's a lot better than the old style. To, yeah. What you have to use. A lot safer too. Okay, so basically all you gotta do after you got your shock reclocked and put the spring back on it, all you do is there's bolts up here, but just the same thing that you took out. Make sure you got the shock reservoir going in the right direction. Yeah, or it won't go good. It should be caught back toward the cab. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, it goes back toward the cab. It goes in there just like that. Then after you do that, this right here will go into here. And then there's a washer that goes in it. And you just put the washer back from wherever it came out of whenever you took it out. So if it was on this side, that's where you put it. If it was on this side, it just depends on how your shock comes down and which side has the gap where you put that washer. And that's pretty much all it is to put these things back in. Just two bolts. So you'll see it here in a minute when it's done. Basically, all I've done, I put my bolts in like this and it's in there. I tighten it down just like I'm supposed to be. This is the brand new spring, so that's why it's a little cleaner. And it's tightened down up here. So you make sure your little washers, you have little washers, they go on the nut side. Okay. Okay. So that's pretty much all you got to do for that. Yep. And that's pretty much done. Now I'm going to put the tire back on it, and it is, it's done. All right, this pretty much concludes our video. Uh, sorry if I'm wearing a different attire than I was the last time. Uh, it takes us sometimes a couple of evenings to make all these videos. So anyway, this concludes our video of the spring replacement on the Players General 1000 Sport. The uh, Zebros exit, ex, Zebros uh, exit shocks, we end up switching out, as you've seen in the videos, we went from a 275 lower spring to a 300 pound lower spring, and that keeps this tire, hopefully from hitting this right here. You will see in the uh, clip that Chase will attach to this, a video from the GoPro camera camera up for, from it hitting a uh, speed bump pretty fast pretty good speed bump pretty hard I'm trying to get it to go up in there and it doesn't go up into the fender so he did test he did do a little test flight on it it gets close but not it, quite it gets close but it it, it works trying to do that before we put a bunch more preload in it we thought we'd try that seems to have worked in the process they also tore out their headlights they replaced these headlights we'll put a link in the description below it's only three bolts it takes to uh get these headlights in and out because the other ones did break so we got new headlights in there now um other than that i think that's about it i apologize if it's a little smoky in here we were been we were, we were uh, welding up some uh, tree kickers for the blue donkey but uh, anyway, 
So there you go. It's got new uh, lower springs on it. Like I said, they went from 275s to 300s on it. And hopefully that will solve the problem of them big 370 tires bumping up and hitting the plastic and tearing the lights out. I'd appreciate it. We'd appreciate it. If you'd like and subscribe, hit that subscribe button down below. It helps us uh, stay motivated and continue to put out these videos. We appreciate it and happy trails.